kindly listen now i was talking about two planes you know horizontal plane and a vertical plane okay now what i said i was talking about your vertical board this board is a y axis becomes vertical plane and the floor is an horizontal plane the ground is an horizontal plane now instead of thinking that you just kindly view this you know this, this is a cd normally a cd cover you yeah? fine now this becomes my vertical plane okay i'll write vp here is vertical plane and this becomes my horizontal plane so for example i'll have this chuck piece you you have to tell me that or we have to think or imagine how do i look this chuck piece from this view and the other view i was talking about two views one is front view of me and top view of me kindly remember i told you the top view means you should the observer that is you should come on this place that means your eyes have to be in this area and see then only you can see my this part in front view you can never see my this part you can see only my body front side right fine now now what will happen is you just see this chuck piece from the front side how do i see this this chuck piece is like this this looks like a small you know line i'll draw this front view a chuck piece is like this i'll start from here front view is this say small chuck piece see kindly remember i told you from the naked eye that means our eye is an three dimensional view that means we can see the x the y and the z axis okay it's not axis a x e s more than one axis is called axis okay so three axis together that means you can see this cd itself the length the breadth as well as the thickness and i told you the thickness cannot be shown in the diagram because this cd itself i can draw in terms of a line like this and this only i cannot show this thickness anyhow you can show it in this way like like this you know some diagram you can make like this so this is not possible for you now how do we make it for other side it's not possible like that generally we can see only two dimension that is y axis and x axis okay now this i call it as an horizontal plane this is horizontal plane and vertical plane and this joining part of this vertical plane and horizontal plane is my x y axis i'll draw this line in the board like this fine so this becomes x and this becomes y okay now whatever i draw in this vertical side that is my front view this is my front view fv i write and this is my top view tv and one more thing i told about planes plane means this is vertical plane always because this plane vertical plane in the horizontal plane how can i draw this horizontal plane how will i show it in the board i told you remember i am tilting this horizontal plane which is actually x axis into a 90 degree tilt this was actually 90 degree like this i'm tilting it to 90 degree down okay so this becomes now the horizontal plane here so this becomes the horizontal plane so vertical plane in the top actually horizontal plane in the bottom now whatever i see in the front say suppose this chuck piece is i drawn it here can you can you see this is my front view fv so this i should show it in the paper that means in the drawing sheet how the chuck piece is this height this my front view chuck piece looks like you just consider this as a rectangle you know front view you can see this point and right let it be but in the top view i told you to see the top of the chuck piece you cannot see it from your direction where you are sitting you know this place you cannot see this i told you, you are an observer this is an object you are an observer you have to come to this position that means your eyes has to come here i mean this part up how i look like this okay so this will be in top it looks a small circle is it not a circle this is a circle so 
this in this projection I have this so this is my top view this is my front view in the front view I can see the chalk piece as a small rectangle it's a consideration just consider and the top view I can see it as a circle so the two views in general is possible that is why it is called 2D views two dimensional views is it okay now now what happens is you can ask me a question sir you can see this so this box has got vertical plane horizontal plane I told you it is tilting like this because in the paper in that board or the sheet you are drawing it down what about the side views side views is what I can see this box how say for example even this chalk piece also I have side view for this chalk piece from left hand side of I am standing here this is my left side this is my right side I told you already so this left side also I can see a rectangle of the chalk piece where will I draw I told you you should think or imagine drawing is a mere imagination Just imagine that where will I draw this left hand side view if I have a wall this side is it right you are looking from here you are drawing this rectangle in this wall vertical plane front front view or vertical plane if I see this side because you are an observer now you have to transfer come and stand here if you see from there where will you draw it can you draw it here or in the floor no you will have to draw here what you see you are drawing it here so this left side view is always drawn on the right hand side can you get me left side actually view you are coming your your eyes are here you are coming sitting here just imagine sitting here but you are drawing this left side view in the right hand side that means in the sheet I see from this left but I have to draw it where no I will show this box I have to draw it yeah this is the box okay suppose imagine like this one more a closed box here in the opposite side this you can show in the opposite side this from here okay so this box you just think it is a closed box a box so I whatever I see it here I draw it here again a rectangle here okay so how will I draw in the sheet I will show see this is my this what is this this is my front view this is top view the side view I have to draw suppose again a rectangle here can you understand this becomes a line this is also a line this is front view this is top view this becomes side view what side view you are viewing from left side and you draw it in this side actually left side view like the same vice versa you look it from here you need another wall here I mean another box like this or side like this from side you see you draw it in this side so this becomes an opposite side like this here ok so kindly understand you have two planes one is horizontal plane this is vertical plane basically the front view whatever you see in the front of any object you are drawing it in the vertical plane and the whatever you see from the top of the body of any object you draw it in the bottom that is horizontal plane and please remember you are this is actual you know the thing is only actual like this vertical horizontal plane but we are rotating this into a 90 degree because this becomes a paper this is a white sheet your drawing sheet is like this so this point this line is become x y line I have drawn it x y line the combination of your front view and top view is your x y line this becomes front view or vertical plane and this becomes top view or horizontal plane it is very very important to understand the basics so if you are good in basics obviously you can imagine to draw any sketch of the given object is that okay so these two views are very very important front view and top view or vertical plane or horizontal plane is that right okay then now so this is a rectangular box for this box I have just given or this chalk piece I was explaining this is an it looks like a rectangle on the in the front view and top view it looks like a circle what about this box then can we draw this same fashion for this box let me let us try 
So let us try like this. You put x and y. Understand? This is vertical plane. This is horizontal plane. Or I'll show it to you once again here. The joining line of vertical plane and horizontal plane is your x y line. This line. Or you can say this corner. You know, this corner is x y line. Now, front view is this. Or immediately write this vertical plane. Remember as front view or vertical plane. That's fine. Or you remember as horizontal plane or top view. Now I am drawing this box like this. Okay. If I keep this box like this in this condition, kindly imagine. How will I draw this front view? Here you can see in your you know you are, you are just sitting in that place. From there the front view is how what you can see? You can see only this line. Is it right? You can see only this area as a small rectangle. Maybe a length is some you know twelve or thirteen centimeters, a part of a scale, and probably the width is you know one centimeter. This will be like this, is it not? Like this. And kindly understand the distance what I've given from this x y line to this object, you know, object like this. You can see that distance should be from this corner to this height. Is it okay? Because this height will be specified in the required question as what is that height? That we, I will, you know, I will be teaching you in the later classes. Don't worry. But we will. We are now interested to know what is the front view and top view only of an object. That is the two major views in vertical plane and horizontal plane. Now, for this box, your front view is this. Is it okay? You agree with this? Yeah. You can even make a neat drawing. That's fine. Now. For this box, what is my top view? In the sense, you should think you have to come here. That means your eyes has to be here. The see and see is just like this. This from here I see, I can see the top view, top of this place. How will I draw? I cannot draw this here. Can you remember? I have to draw it on the on the bottom. Bottom means, again remember, only at this place. Front view I have drawn it here, okay, and top view I have to draw it only in this place. And this paper is being shifted or tilted to 90 degree like this. That's why it becomes like this. So this x y line is this line x y line, and your front view what you are drawing is here at least this portion, okay? And top view you are looking this part from top. You are drawing it here, right? And this is in the bottom. How will you draw the same length? But your diagram will be changing because. You have a width of like this, because you see a better, you know, all the four lines. You see the same thing, but your width is different and you know length is different. That is very important. You have to imagine. Kindly imagine what you are drawing. If your imagination is good, you will get the, you know, the best of drawing, whatever it is. The front and top, your side view, whatever it is, you get the best of the drawing. Fine. Now I'll say, this is my, no. The I can connect these two views because it is the same object which has got a different front view and a different top view. So these lines I have drawn it very slow, you know, thin lines. It is called projection lines. Projection, you know, I'll write it as projector or projection lines. Called projection lines because you are projecting. I can say it's in a mirror image or you know shadow. When we walk, you know you will find our shadow, our own shadow, like this. Whatever we have in our body, it will be coming in a shadow. Like the same thing, it's a projection of this line joining is called a projection line because it is a projection of this body in the top view and this body is projection thrown in the front view. That is very very important. Okay, now. If you understand what is a horizontal plane and a vertical plane, and if you know where to draw the front view and where to draw the top view, and if your basic is very strong, because you have to simply imagine front and top view for a, any object is common, it is the basic. Then side views are possible. As I told you, if you want to draw the left side view, you'll be drawing it in the right hand side, because. When you look from this left hand side, you obviously require another board or another wall in this right hand side. Only then you can draw it. 
like that opposite side also you can draw it so basically first two views we will go for the right hand side and left hand side view in the later classes now front and top view is this okay now this i told you this is unit number 2 kindly remember unit number 2 in the first class i told and this has got first is projection of points projection of points okay